Over the years, you not only provided care for those who've turned to you, but you also developed professional and personal friendships with many patients and medics that will be cherished for many years to come. That was the final call at Earl K. Long in Baton Rouge over uh, after 45 years in operation. Good evening. Seems hard to believe that was 10 years ago. Yeah, happening now, the Planning Commission is getting a look at the proposal of what's to come at the site of the old hospital. News 2's Abigail Woodham explains. Sylvia, Chris, the EBR Housing Authority has been discussing plans of what to do with the site for a decade, and tonight we get a first look at those plans. You know, the great thing about this, this is a truly collaborative community effort. These renderings show the footprint of what could become the site of the old Earl K. Long Hospital. At first, a 117-unit senior community, but there's much more to come. As we all know, the Earl K. Long Hospital was a very, is, is a very iconic site and very special to the people of, uh, of, of Baton Rouge because of what it meant to this community. Built in 1967 and opened a year later, the Earl K. Long Medical Center served South Louisiana until April of 2013. It was tore down in 2015. J. Wesley Daniels remembers that day and the impact EKL had on Baton Rouge. I think everyone's going to be truly excited about our announcement in a few coming months. Ultimately, what you'll see at the new Earl K. Long site is really an opportunity to provide access. Access to food, to housing, to recreation, to education, and a focus on job assistance. Plus, health care at Our Lady of the Lake North close by. Daniels wouldn't reveal the entire plan, but you can see here the property is massive. And he believes the possibilities are endless. Here's an opportunity to really create a catalytic redevelopment right here in the middle of Baton Rouge. And again, we expect to learn more about the plan next month. But tonight at 10, we'll have the update on the Planning Commission's decision on whether to move forward with the project. Chris?